Hey everybody, this is Don over at Mobile Marketing Strategies and I was playing with some uh, Facebook FBML code over the weekend and discovered something that might be beneficial to you. I found a way to add uh, Facebook comments to a welcome tab on your fan page or any other custom Facebook tab you have. What this is going to do is, uh, is add another place for you to uh, engage or interact with your fans and this should help increase your edge rank. Uh, Joe talks about edge rank on day 27 of her fan page course and uh, goes over the importance of it there. And with a, and I, I believe with more fan engagement, uh, your Facebook search results should increase. Hey, like I said before, uh, I was messing around with a little FBML code over the weekend and I found a way to add Facebook comments to a custom FBML tab on your fan page. Uh, I know Joe Barnes has made a video on how to add them to your blog post and if you've seen uh, seen any sales uh, sales pages or landing pages around the internet uh, marketers are starting to add Facebook comments to those also uh, but what I found is a way to add that to a to a welcome tab or any other custom FBML tab and uh, I'll Let's take a look at uh, a page here that's got one installed. Uh, this is a page that Lawton Childs runs. It's Whole Child Florida. And uh, his custom FBL tab for kids. We'll bring that up. Uh, let's see, he's, he's giving you a chance here to sign up for a free ebook. And if you go down here to the bottom of this page, you'll see he's got Facebook comments installed on it. And that's going to give, uh, give fans a chance to comment or ask questions about his book. Uh, and I see very few pages on Facebook, fan pages on Facebook, that have got this installed. And I believe it would be pretty beneficial uh, give you another give uh, give you another place to engage and interact with your fans. Uh, I went over to free fan page templates here, Jill Barnes page, and we'll go to her welcome tab. And this is just an example of a place where it may be beneficial to add comments and give fans or potential fans a place to ask questions and uh, give Joe another place to interact with their fans. Uh, but this area right down here at the bottom, uh, she could actually come in here and add Facebook comments to this area here. And like I said, just give her another place to interact with her fans or potential fans. And uh, they'd be able to ask questions about uh, what she's doing, what she's trying to accomplish, and uh, give her a chance to uh, make a new fan. So anyway, uh, we'll take a take a look at this one piece of code and all it is is one line of code it's, it's nothing really hard to do it's really easy uh, and we'll take a look at that here and uh, we'll see if we can get you headed in the right direction okay to uh, to install comments on your fan page tab uh, you're gonna need to know three things uh, the first one's the code the second one is your page ID number and the third is where to put it uh, we'll take a look at the code first. Uh, we'll bring it up here. R this right here is the piece of code that you're going to need to install comments on your uh, fan page tab. Uh, in here between the quotes uh, you'll actually put your uh, fan page ID number and that's really easy to find. Uh, if you've not got if you don't have 25 fans yet and you haven't renamed your page it'll simply be up here in the URL and that'll be this number right here that'll be your page ID number and you'll want to put that number uh, in that code in between the quotes um, if you uh, if you've already uh, renamed your uh, fan page or give it a uh, custom
fan page URL. Uh, that number's not going to show up. We'll go back over here and pick on Joe again here for just a minute. You can see up here uh, she doesn't have her fan page ID number showing up here in the URL. Now if yours is if yours is like that um, if you simply click on your profile picture that'll bring your page ID number up okay and that'll be that'll be this number here right after the ID equals uh, this will be Joe's fan page ID number so if you've renamed your or if you've um, got a custom Facebook URL you'll want to just click on your uh, fan page picture and use your number there and insert that between the quotes um, let's take a look here I've actually got one here and I've put uh, my fan page ID number in this piece of code it's really easy to install uh, just simply copy it go to your fan page and hit edit page go to your apps and I've already named a tab comment and this is where I'm going to install this code we're going to go to the app and just simply paste that piece of code in there and we'll save the changes see Facebook is a little slow okay and if we go back here to mobile marketing strategies and bring the comment tab up you can see here where the comments have been added to it so basically whatever whatever you've got on your welcome tab or your custom tab you'll just want to put that piece of code at the end of it uh, let's jump over to another page real quick uh, this is another page that I'm in the process of uh, and I'll show you where to put that code we'll go to apps and this here is going to be my welcome tab so we'll just go to this app as you can see uh, this is the code for that welcome page uh, and this code was generated using Joe's uh, fan page generator uh, to open this code up just come down here at the bottom and left click on it and then hit your down arrow on your keyboard and that will open up all this code okay if you go all the way down to the bottom of the code this right here is that Facebook comment code and you want to put that right inside this uh, closed div container the very last one put this Facebook comment code right there you'll just want to uh, copy and paste that code right in front of that last div container and uh, hit save changes and it'll get it in there for you and we'll go back to go back to this page and this is what it looks like and uh, of course you want to uh, you want to add a line of text or something to uh, tell folks what you want them to do why you want them to leave a comment uh, so on and so forth and uh, if I remember right I, I believe on that fan page generator I just I actually just moved a little bit of code to move this down here below this last uh, JPEG on that generator I believe that line of code or uh, line of text used to be 
I'm not mistaken right up in here I just moved it down uh, adding text NFBM if NFBML is not real complicated uh, I'll see if I can put something together here in the real near future and uh, show you some easy ways to add uh, different lines of text to your fan pages without just totally messing everything up. Uh, another nice thing about the comment box too is uh, if a fan does post a comment uh, and hit that check box there and that will also post that comment to their Facebook profile so just uh, it'll just give you that much more exposure. Uh, the uh, the code let's see the code for adding comments uh, I've got this here on my wall here at mobile marketing strategies and I also put it in a discussion box and uh, this here's this here's the code that you want to use right here and just put your page ID number right in here get it installed and uh, you're you're on your way to creating comments on any custom fan fan page tab that you've got I uh, hope this helped and like I said I will uh, I will get uh, get something else put together on how to deal with the text or adding a line or two of text and uh, also get it posted so I hope this was uh, a help for you and we'll talk soon.